Welcome to the Tay and Todd Washington Commanders Podcast. This is your co-host Tay, and we are back at it with another episode. Todd, it is draft season. Yeah. And I'm excited personally about the aspects of grabbing a talented player at 11. <laughs> uh, I know I keep mentioning in the group chat we have how obviously we're not in the top 10, but 11 with what we need seems to fit right where... Uh, we, we get the second or best wide receiver in the um, in the draft. So, Todd, with draft season to miss, pro days, I'm sure we'll touch on pro days here and there. But how you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. It kind of feels like the off season's going by fast, honestly. Mm-hmm. And it felt like it was it, it was slow there for a moment. And then Russell Wilson got traded, and it just hasn't stopped since then. The Russell Wilson trade. And you got Carson Wentz trade, Sean Watson trade, Matt Ryan trade, Devontae Adams trade, Tyreek Hill trade. Mm-hmm. You have all the free agency moves. Baker Mayfield still has to go somewhere. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo still has to go somewhere. So uh, it's been it's been probably the most entertaining offseason ever. And I think that's kind of what's making it go by fast. Now the draft is is almost exactly a month away. We'll see yeah. how fast this month goes because we're going to be there's so much anticipation so thinking about it talking about every day maybe time will go slower but i'm feeling pretty good and i'm just excited for the draft well yeah this year we're not really talking about a quarterback you know so it's like it's like a relief oh yeah yeah right it's like that's like that's a relief but it but it's also not like because we don't actually think or believe we have it solved but then going into the draft we won't be as stressed Right. You know, hoping they draft a quarterback and they don't. The letdown that would be, we can kind of, we can kind of relax a bit more watching the draft, but we still have certain hopes and expectations. So, for, yeah. for and that is for adding offensive players early. I mean, you've mentioned it before. I mean, we've never. I don't. I can't recall when's the last time we we drafted outside of Josh Dotson, which was a total bust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Um, and I liked him a lot coming out. I mean, I thought he makes, I mean, I jump ball, I thought he was going to be legit, but he ended up turning out yeah. to be terrible. Yeah. Um, so I think Scott it was Rod McClugan. Gardner before that. Oh, Rod Gardner, yeah. Scott McClugan, that was, was it? Scott McClugan drafted Josh Dotson. Yeah, he right? did. He drafted Josh Dotson and, and oh, Matt Jones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Scott. Come on, Scott. If you look at Josh Dotson, he was a jump ball specialist who was like 6'2 and, and, you didn't have to watch all his film, but just watch his, his highlights. And all he was doing was just catching jump balls. Like yeah. you didn't see him, you know, getting open or doing much after. You just saw him catching jump balls. And when you look back on it, it's like, hmm, probably should have called that one ahead of time. I hadn't yeah. watched a whole lot of him beforehand um, yeah. that year, so I didn't. I didn't exactly know what to expect. But this is Achilles, man. Oh my goodness. I mean, the the, the just the <laughs> weirdest, just the weirdest things. Like what he has a random. Achilles problem that won't go away for a whole season that he's never had before. just silly stuff so but but that's in the past and the guys that we're looking at this year are not Josh Doxson not all. Josh Doxson so I guess go ahead and uh tell them what we're gonna do yeah so we're gonna do a mock draft here uh we're looking looking forward to this I know we've yeah. seen a couple uh, pro days here so we have an idea of what we're going to do Right now, I think we're doing the first couple of rounds. Or are we doing what? What are you, what are you trying to do? What do you want to do? I mean, I would say at least four. I mean, I'm, four, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with four because six and sevens, you know, you know, and we have to sit there and watch every pick go by. So I'm cool with the first four picks, kind of see, or the first four rounds, which is the first three picks for Washington. Mm-hmm. See right. if we can turn that into more picks. Who we want to do? So we're gonna hit you off with the Tate and Todd mock draft 1.0. Here we go. All right, here we go. Mock draft 1.0. Let's get it. Round one. Okay, Evan Neal. That's that's believable. Yeah. That's, that's believable. Nice. Aiden Hutchinson. That's believable. Those first two picks. Now there's a Mod Gardner. That's that's a lot of people's favorite. And going kind of <laughs> early there at three. Yeah. Uh, the a Mod Gardner there. I mean that's. Mm. That's kind of high. Malik Willis to the Panthers. Now there's Garrett Wilson at seven, to the Giants. So okay, now we have to kind of sit and, and think. Ooh. Okay. Kyle Hamilton, nine. Okay, Jordan. and Jordan Davis. All right, so here we are yeah. on the <laughs> clock, and we've got two offers. Now, the first one is a hard pass. <laughs> offering us a second round, 43, 58, couple seconds, third. I mean, it's a lot of picks, but that's a pretty significant move. Mm. Okay, here's one, Tay. 
Ooh. Garrett Wilson is off the off the table. Ooh. Uh we you know, we've still got Chris Olave there, we still got uh Drake London, Traylon Burks, we've still got uh George Pickens, even Jameson Williams. Move back mm-hmm. to twenty, pick up a second and a second next year, and give away our fourth. What are you thinking? Uh, you know, we look at who's on the who's available. You know. Uh Derek Stingley's out there. Well, I, I know the for sure pick there would be Kyle Hamilton at eleven. Yeah. Uh, he's not there. Uh Charles Cross is on the board. That's tough. Yeah. If Garrett um, Wilson was here, I think I'd take him. But Yes. I think let's trade back. Okay. Let's 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 go ahead and accept the Steelers trade. Moving back to number twenty. See what the Steelers do. Are they taking a quarterback? No, they're taking Derek Stingley. Wow. Okay. Wow. Mm-hmm. Here we go, George Karloftis to the Vikings. There's Good Charles Cross. Good pick right there. Man. Yeah. I want to see what the Eagles do here. I bet uh, there's a lot. Oh, <laughs> <dang> it. <laughs> and there's That's, Booth. Okay. They got my guy. Yep, yep. Can mm-hmm. he pick it to the Lions at 17? Paxton Hill. They had a Lave ranked 20th. Okay, here we go. With, so at 20, I guess we can first look at who's in the clock. We've got Jamison Williams here, your 12th ranked player. Obviously coming off that injury uh, that he, he tore his ACL in January. So mm-hmm. how much will he contribute this year is, is the main thing. Uh, if we're looking at, you know, wide receiver, Drake London, Traylon Burks, you know, Christian Watson, George Pickens. And those are guys that are, you know, you could probably get early in the second. Right. Um, sitting here at 20, uh, Drake okay. London. We've got, okay, I let... Drake London's at 25. Okay, we can look at these. I won't hate that pick. Um, let's look at these trade offers first. So we're not, we know we're not taking that from the Bears. Moving back all the way to 39 to get an extra second and third. Again, moving from 20 Ooh. to the first. Now, take or getting a getting the first next year would be pretty cool. That'd be enticing. That'd be pretty <laughs> enticing. Ooh. And then two spots to pick up. Yes. What is that? Yeah. Give, Give me that because yeah. I don't like the receivers there. Yeah. I, I, uh, I feel like we can wait. I feel like the Packers may go receiver, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with not taking one. Oh, they took James away. Okay. And then this is just a hard reject. No, yes. hang, hang up the phone. So here we are. So we're, we're making a pick here. Drake yes. London or Traylon Burks or, or what are you thinking? Um, I think you got to go. Ah, oh, man. You know, both, you know, they're both, they're interesting players. I, I don't, I like, I like both of them. I don't love them the way I do. Alave or Garrett Wilson, but um, what are you thinking? I, as of right now, I think I'm, I, I would lean towards Burks, Traylon okay. Burks. Okay, I, I'm I'm cool with Burks. All you right. take? Okay, we're drafting Traylon Burks at number 22. Yep. All right, let's do it. All right, first pick, Traylon Burks at 22. We move back. We we added we added a couple picks. Today. I'll be honest with you, I forgot exactly the picks we added. I think we added yeah. number 92 and number 52, maybe. But we've got so we've got at least two extra picks here, and a, right. I believe a second next year. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. I like that. I like that too. I, I guess like the that. question is: Would you rather have just Garrett Wilson, just Crystal Lave, or Traylon Burks and two extra picks? Yes, yeah, that's, that's a good question. We see what's on the board. Yeah, the, yeah. If you can, that's a good question. It's a good question. Okay, and so I, but I really point, like those two, man. I really like those, oh, man. Those Ohio those State guys. Oh man, yeah. yeah. And you got Olave going to the Eagles here, yeah. And with Devonte Smith, Garrett Wilson went to the Giants, Kadarius Tony. So yeah. you hate that they went to your rivals. Sam Howell going to the Colts at thirty-seven. The Colts at thirty-seven. Okay, Carson Strong to the Seahawks. Chad Muma also to the Seahawks. I think he's someone we would have been looking at there, yeah. probably at forty-seven. Desmond Ritter to the Saints. Oh, man. What do we got? Here we go. Okay, Brandon Smith. All right, now I, I can tell you right now. Okay, so no, re- I'm mm. rejecting this. Yeah. Uh, Tay, I am big yeah. on these two <laughs> running backs guy. sitting here. <laughs> I'm also really high on Likely and McBride, probably McBride over Likely. Um, and I I think right here I'd be looking at offensive skill player or linebacker. I'd like to know what you think because Christian Harris is sitting there as well. Okay, so so my thinking here is who will make it to fifty-two? Okay, that's right because we've got that fifth pick. So so then okay, so we've got you know Christian Harris, Quay Walker, Brian Asamoah. You know Darian Beavers is all the way down at one twelve. Do mm-hmm. we like him better there 
you know, I think one, of the, I think both of these running backs may go. I don't think they'll go. I think they'll think, both be. I think, think they'll both be there at, at fifty two. Okay. Let's, let's go, Christian Harris. Christian Harris, linebacker from Alabama. I'm going to okay. bet on them. You think they both be gone? Ho ho ho! Do you think they both be gone? <laughs> <laughs> I think. Um, we got the Bears, the Falcons, the Chiefs. The Chiefs shouldn't go running back. The Eagles, sure. uh, Falcons. Bear. I think one of them will be there. Do you like both? One of them, them will be there. Do you like? I like both of them. I like Kenneth Walker more, but I do like both. So I'd fi- I'm fine with either. If we're if if we feel like we don't want to pass on Christian Harris, let's go Christian Harris because that solves the middle linebacker, Bama. Okay. I mean, Here we go. Watch Brees Hall. One of them go first. Okay, okay. All right. There. Okay. There we go. There's one. There's Brees Hall. Uh, Let's see what the Chiefs do. Ajabo recently got hurt. Okay, there's Light. Right. There you go. Ooh. Boom. Now. No. Uh, man, that's kind of. That is enticing. Kinda, that's kind of enticing. I mean, I guess the question is, do we want Kenneth Walker? Do we want to risk missing out on Kenneth Walker or Trey McBride? Adding that 88. Uh, I think I'm no. fine. I'm fine with picking here. Yeah, same. Okay. All right, so let me reject this. Where do you stand between Kenneth Walker and Trey McBride? Lots of people will say we don't need an upgrade at running back. Tell you know how I feel. Yeah. I think Kenneth Walker is just through and through a great running back. Trey McBride, I think, is a really good tight end. Logan Thomas coming off that ACL. Ricky Seals Jones gone. What do you think? Because I'm torn. Ah, uh, man. Trey McBride. See, I haven't watched much of Trey McBride. I need to do some more film film study on him. What is he? A move tight end? Is He's he... a move tight end. He's a Kelsey Kittle. Uh, uh, Ravens, what I can't remember, uh, Mark Andrews type of tight end. Um, I, I, between the two, I'd say tight end is the bigger need. If we have them ranked yeah. evenly, tight end is the bigger need probably. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So um, go to the McBride. We're going to go tight end. Yeah. And, and, you know, and running back, I feel like we can get better value maybe at running back later. So we can go McBride. Um, boom, let's do it. Trey McBride at 52. I like that. I like that. Okay. So let's see. Next pick for us would be all the way down at 92. Okay, so we're going to sit here for a little bit. Um, no, 92 and fifth. Okay, 92. There's a, there's a, my, what's his name? Let me see. Marcus. Where is he? Where, I hope he's not gone. Marcus Jones, cornerback from Houston, is someone I would have my eye on. Okay. 92. I think he'll still be there, so we can probably they have him ranked pretty low, but uh, he's someone I would have my eye on. Oops. There's George Pickens, 61. Now, George Pickens, Christian Watson, those are two guys people are really high on. Yeah, and I'm, 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 good pick for him. Yeah, that is a good pick for them. I like what I've seen from George Pickens, honestly, and I think he will go higher than 61, I think. Yeah. Not positive. Yeah. Okay. Um, what what else do we need? We need... I, I saw the reason I like um, cornerback that I was talking about, I keep forgetting his name, Marcus... I always want to say Marcus Houston. Marcus Jones, who played at Houston, he is he is as a nickel slot cornerback as they come. He's a smaller guy, 5'8". He's fast. He's a return man. Really good. One of the best mm. punt return men in the last 10 years in college. Okay. Um, okay. okay. And he's very instinctive. He's just smaller. So, uh, like I said, I don't think we'd need to take him at 92, but he's someone I definitely have my eye on there. I also, if Darian Beavers, is he... Well, we, we went linebacker early in the second. Yeah, so, so we I'd don't be looking need, yeah. at running back as well, at like a James Cook, maybe. Ooh. <laughs> mm. And then, I mean, I don't, cool. I don't, I wouldn't be looking at quarterback here personally. No. no. And offensive, I think offensive line, we have enough depth on there with the signings yeah. of, um, uh, what's Lucas, his name? Big, Lucas, Lucas Norwell. Back. Yeah. yeah in Norwell. So, so, okay, here we go. Eric Uzukanma. I haven't heard of him. I need to look him up. All right. What do we got? Um, no. Yeah, I don't that would think be good. so. Uh, let's see. So, I think my guy here would be James Cook. Um, I do you feel think the return will get to us in the, in the, in the fifth? Uh, at what was that? That was, yeah, I think so. He is, he, they got him ranked at 185, pretty low, lower than I would have him. So yeah. no, our cool. next pick after this is at – oh, this is our last pick because we traded it. Let's look at this trade offer again. Getting yeah, I think you take that. Four. Okay, I'm, I'm fine with taking this deal right here. All right, let's accept this. 
Because if we if we don't, you know, if we pass up on James, if, if James Cook is taken, I wouldn't hate a guy like Kyron Williams either. Right, right. Algier, I think Algier will be gone. Hopefully James Cook won't, won't be gone. Yeah. We're watching 109. We moved back to 104. 104, yeah. Let's see. Tyler Batty. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good one. Jeremy Ruckert. Uh-oh. Will they make it? Will they make it? Let's see. I think Let's see. Will. <laughs> Let's see will. two more spots. Two more spots. Isaiah yep, Thomas. And what are the Chiefs doing? We got him. Boom. All right. So we're going to go ahead. I like that. We moved back, got a pick, and still got our guy. Yes. Love that, yeah. Tay. I think we could I think we could do this professional. Oh man, I'm liking this. <laughs> watch then, the film. Make sure we hit it. <laughs> yeah, right. Our next pick now, 142. I think I'm all over Yeah. Marcus Jones there. If he makes it, if he makes if he it. He makes it, yeah. They got him at 185. He could go higher than that. We'll see. Tyler Algier. I like I like Bailey Zapp to the Seahawks. Well, they went two quarterbacks because they took um Seahawks had taken Carson Strong, I think, in the second, yep. right? They did. Beavers uh-huh. to the Giants. Yeah. Beavers Ooh. is a, Beavers is a is an enticing name. Beavers, you know? I, I don't know about him. He seems a little slow footed to me. I just like <laughs> yeah, he yeah. like he runs heavy. Mm, I see what you mean. Got his got his uh his feet and uh blocks of cement. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I don't. I think that would. I don't know what Ron likes in him. I mean, yeah. obviously, you just saw him talk. Oh, Justin Ross is good. Yeah, um, is good. Ron was talking to him at the at the pro day today, uh, which is intriguing because it's like I, I don't know what what Ron would see him. I mean, I guess he's diverse. He could play DN. Yeah. He could play like a, a middle a Mike linebacker. Right. So it's interesting. He's physical. I mean, he played on one of the top defenses in college. Right. So right. The I don't know. Today, too, the, the Commanders had. Eight, nine, I think, representatives at that Cincinnati Pro Day. Yep. Looking at Pride Beavers, looking at Alec Pierce, looking at Desmond Ritter, looking at uh, Sauce Gardner. Yep. Yep. Nick Cross, safety, went to the Patriots out of Maryland with that one. And we're, we're, you know, we're pretty close here. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Yeah, I, I, I like it. I'm I like it. I think it. I would feel a lot better if, if Olave was there at 20. Yeah, yeah. That would be my. My main one, because at that point I'm trying. Honestly, I'm, I, I'm trying to decide if I would even just trade back even more and take a guy like Pickens or exactly, exactly. or something. Exactly. Right, so if we can look at our full board here. I mean, we're good at running back. You could go with the guy like Ridgeway from Arkansas for depth and long defensive line, but I think I know I know what I'm looking at. And if people want to, you know, if you want to call it a reach, I'm, that's fine with me. This is our last pick until the sixth round. Right. But I love a guy like Marcus Jones here. Just because you're drafting someone who will help you in more more ways than one. Right, so right. So you get your kickoff return or your punt return. And, your and your slot corner. Exactly. So, boom, here we go. And I think that is it. So this is it. So we we came out of it with Traylon Burks. He's your, he's your wide receiver opposite of Terry. Christian Harris, take that middle linebacker spot. Trey McBride, I think can help you from day one. Mm-hmm. James Cook. And then your nickel cornerback. And then we added that second rounder next year that they will likely lose from the Carson Wentz trade. Right, right. How are you feeling about it, Tate? Uh, I like it. I like it. However, you know, with me, I, I, I'm in. I'm in. I, I like those Ohio State receivers, man. And um, yeah. I think with 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 the lobby going off at 20, you would hope he would have made it. Obviously, yeah, in real yeah. life. Yeah. In real life, I don't think he's making it to 20, but I right. figured it's a mock. He may. Um, right. He didn't. So, Traylon Burks, I'm okay with. I mean, right. he's, he's a dog. He's filthy. He's nasty. Um, and the fact that we were able to trade back and get some more value, we are able to get more bang for our buck. So, yeah. Yeah. I like. I give it a, I give it a, a B plus. Yeah, I, I think, you know, and Burks is a guy that I think Scott Turner can get creative with, you know, find ways – scheme of ways to get him the ball. I think he's a guy that Carson Wentz can give chances to. He can take advantage of him. Obviously, his 40 time was a little slower than he would have wanted, but I think he plays faster than that. Um, I think he kind of gives me and I, I'm blanking on his name. Uh, Titans receiver drafted in the second round. Um, AJ Brown. AJ Brown, exactly. Yeah, that's kind of the, the, the vibes I get. Uh, there's obviously growth that needs to happen in terms of route running, but I think he's all around a solid player. So, I'm pretty good with that haul. I think we you added a couple playmakers. Well, you added three playmakers on offense, who I think can help you from day one, who you hope can be your starting middle linebacker and your starting nickel. And we ended up drafting five times in the first four rounds and added a second rounder next year. 
Mm-hmm. So I'm feeling pretty good about that tape versus only making three picks this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I and I like that second pick. We we had like I said, if I had Olave with, with Christian yeah. Harris, oh, yeah, yeah, that would that would make it an A plus. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that would make it an A plus. But I'm Christian cool. Harris there in the second. Yeah, I like I it a lot. I think that's solid. I, I'd probably go. I'd probably go A minus. I think you. I think you addressed a lot of needs without reaching really, deep, right? Yeah. Um, you know, not re- you know, you, you address needs, you added picks, and you didn't you didn't reach. So I'm feeling good about our mock draft 1.0. Yeah, yeah, I, I like it, I, and and it goes along with with what I believe Ron is trying to do. And I mean, we have a young team, and if you continue to uh, the trade box option is going to be interesting on draft night. Right. Granted, it depends who's there at 11. If right. Kyle Hamilton is there. I, I I personally I don't want Kyle Hamilton at eleven. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I feel like you could, I, you look if you look at the Rams, they don't have I mean outside of Jalen Ramsey, all of their secondary are pretty much like fifth round, mm-hmm. sixth round, fourth round guys. Okay, and role. yeah, that's all you need. I, yeah. I I would rather use that on a guy on a receiver, you know, like a Olave or a Garrett Wilson, and, and yeah. make it work. Honestly. No, I'm, 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 I'm with you on that, honestly. I, I think adding to the defense, obviously, would be great. But I don't see – and he's a great player, but I'm just – maybe I'm just jaded. I'm just jaded. I'm just – we've been building on the building the defense up for all these years. It's time to start building the offense. That's kind of where I stand. And also the investment you've made in Carson Wentz. Surround him with everything you can. Yeah, I think surrounding him with another receiver, in my opinion, would help him more than adding a player – that you expect, you know, the level of Kyle Hamilton to be. Also, I'd be lying if I said it was a little hurt by Chase Young, supposed to, you know, be this great yeah. uh, generational defensive player. And then, so that's probably not fair. Probably yeah. not fair at all. But I yeah. just want an offensive skill player. So I'm good. So, so what do you think about Trey McBride? Uh, I got to look. I'm going yeah, to definitely take it. Give, you think give, he's a second round, third round? What, what I is think he he's a second round guy for sure. I think. Uh, he he is a guy I think who can help you from day one, but who can develop into a really good Mark okay. Andrews, uh, mm-hmm. George Kittle, like one of the top tight ends in the league. He can he catches the ball and runs with it very naturally. Yeah. Like he moves very naturally. He moves more like a receiver than a tight end versus a guy like John Bates who's going to block you, catch right. the ball, and then you know after that mm-hmm. he won't be able to do much. I think it would provide a good balance with John Bates where you have a guy who can who can be your stalwart blocker. And then mm-hmm. you have a guy who can get open and make make catches, and then create after he, he makes the catch. Likely is another guy I like he he's he's well yeah I like but I think I like McBride more. I think McBride is the better player right now. So definitely watch up on him, and then also watch Marcus Jones out of Houston. Yeah, I'm he's a him. scrappy guy. He'd be described as scrappy because he's small. You know, small yeah. players are always scrappy. Yeah, small yeah, cornerbacks yeah. are always scrappy. <laughs> but do you see the way his hip? When you watch him, you'll see the way his hips move. And how fluid his hips are, yeah. like in and out of like breaks with wide mm-hmm. receivers. Uh, he just has a knack for the ball, and then his speed, his speed, and his return game. I'm the best return man in the last ten years. Watch wow. him. Yeah, that's two I birds, one stone. I need to see that. So yeah, I'm feeling good, Tay. I'm feeling good. If we, if we come out of that with draft night, on draft night, yeah, I, I'm ecstatic. I'm yeah. honestly, and, I, and I'm probably going to predict ten wins if we come out with mm-hmm. that kind of hole. Okay. Um, seriously, because yeah. I mean, and it, it, like like I said, it all depends on wins. But to have that supporting cast right there, Traylon Burks on the opposite side of Terry, right. then James Cook getting some snaps, so yeah. so Gibby doesn't have to you know take on the load. Yeah. And Cooks much. is good. Good kicks. Is, Cooks is good out of the backfield, making catches yeah. too, receiving the ball. See what I'm saying, and then yeah. and then a Christian Watson, uh, no Christian Harris. Christian, uh, Harris, Christian Harris was a linebacker I like out of Alabama. Right. Kind of continue that theme of Alabama players on that defense, and he'll solidify that spot with Jamin on the other side. Yeah. Oh my goodness, man! It, 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 yeah, yeah. Got to nail this draft. Got to nail this draft. Got to, and I think they can. I think I mm-hmm. think with the areas of need they have this year, I think it's very well possible. However. I want to trade back from 11, but I can't get too far because I want one of the. I, yeah, one of those. Guys I, I need really to have Olave. I'm Gary sorry. Wilson or Olave was there at 11. I, I think, think he, we're probably pulling the trigger, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you, have to, yeah. you have to. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to risk losing that. I just, right. I just because I don't want to be in a in a position where I'm taking Traylon Burks. You know, I mean, although I would take it, but yeah. Give Give me Garrett. Give me Give me Olave. I think that it would be so cool to have. Three receive three of your top receivers from Ohio State 
Oh, and, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you think yeah. about that. Yeah, that would be yeah. pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. And then he's that. 21, so once I mean, five years, Terry's contract is up. You throw the bag at Olave. Right. The Ami Brown coming in. So, yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm cool. Okay, cool, cool. We'll do our 2.0 here sometime, maybe yeah. like one Every Thursday. or so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every Thursday. Every Thursday. I like it. Thursday. Thursday. Tay and Todd. Yeah, this is, we find a catchy name for that. All right, cool. This was fun, Tay. We'll do it again, and I will talk to you on Monday. All this right. is Todd. And this is Tay. Thanks for watching.